Hello traders, welcome to Simple Trading Style and today we are going to talk about daily crypto market update and we will figure out is it still bearish trend what's going on with the crypto world. As usually let's move to my 5 rules of risk management, please, please read it and follow it every single trade and you will be successful. Now it's a time for trading view. Let's move to trading view. Start from the crypto heat map based on the market cap and daily performance. And it looks like everything green and red, everything bearish already, right? All red except XRP. XRP plus 20% positive. Now let's move to my watch list and we will do technical analysis review. If you want to learn more about trading your setup, just go to the description. There is the link about trading your setup training and other links about all my trainings. Now let me briefly mention about my setup. I'm using simple moving averages, white line SMA 200, purple line SMA 100, blue line SMA 50, yellow line SMA 20, red line SMA 10, green line SMA 5, below yellow line RSI line and high Kanachi bars. That's all very simple. It's not it's not easy because emotions involved. If you follow the indicators, you will be successful because indicators do not have emotions. Like on my screen, you see SMA5 did bullish crossover of a red line, bullish trend, and red circle when SMA5 did bearish crossover of a red line was bearish trend. Last bar still below all moving averages, still bearish trend. Bitcoin as of now minus 2% daily. 4 hours time frame same, it was nice bounce, nice bullish and I did bearish reversal last bar below SMA 20, still bearish trend after a nice bullish, bullish run. 1 hour time frame last bar below all moving averages, still bearish trend, RSI was very close to oversold territory, it can bounce from this level, still bearish. Bitcoin Cash Minus three quarter percent one hour time frame similar last bar below all moving averages still in a bearish territory. Four hours time frame it did nice bounce and it touched SMA 20 it came back to SMA 20 and now it's below all moving averages still bearish trend. And daily time frame last bar below all moving averages bearish trend right. Still last bar disconnected from all moving averages. Ethereum, Ethereum minus 5% daily time frame. Last bar disconnected from all moving averages. Bearish setup because it's SMA 20 yellow line, the bearish crossover over 200. It is bearish trend and are assigned a very oversold territory. Usually it should bounce from this oversold territory. Bitcoin cash not oversold, but also close to oversold. A Bitcoin also it did touch the oversold and little bit bounce from it. Right? Okay, let's go back to Ethereum. Bearish trend oversold. Four hours time frame similar. It's a double bottom. Uh, it can be. It can go even lower. Make a, a recent low. And it will create bullish divergence and it will it will bounce. So far still bearish. One hour time frame are assigned over sold territory, last bar below all moving averages, bearish trend. Ethereum classic minus half percent, one hour time frame. Just did three hours ago bullish crossover. It's Still below SMA 20, it is still bearish territory. Below SMA 20, it is still bearish. Remember. Four hours time frame. It was nice bounce, but still fighting around SMA 20. It did bullish crossover over SMA 20, but still not powerful. Looks like it cannot handle it. It, it wants to go back bearish. Right? Yeah, and daily. Let's see daily. Daily last bar below all moving averages. Still bearish trend, bearish territory. Disconnected last bar from SMA 20. RSI was an oversold territory. Remember when is one bar so far 
disconnect it from SMA20, usually it wants to have bounds to connect back to SMA20. Other Cardano, minus 2% as of now, last bar below all moving averages, bearish trend on all indicators. A little bit clearer. Okay, bearish trend and four hours time frame. Was, it was nice bounce. It did even go above SMA20. And now it came back below SMA20. Still in a bearish reversal trend. One hour time frame. Still fighting a bit below SMA20, below all moving averages. Still kind of in a fight mode. It did cross. Over it crossed over SMA 5 and 10, but still in the below 20 and 50. Getting positive, but still bench. XRP, XRP, different story. One hour time frame, huge spike, and it did touch overbought territory. And now it can get some injection from overbought territory plus 20%. Bullish trend now. The Q disconnection from the last bar to all moving averages. Four hours time frame, powerful bar, bullish trend. Daily time frame, also powerful bar. One bar just wiped out. Yeah, all shorts for last seven days. Let's see, yeah, it looks like. It, yeah, it is short squeeze, short squeeze. Still, yeah, it can go up and will create another bearish divergence. We'll see. So far, bullish reversal, bullish reversal. We'll see if it can handle it. Don't coin, don't coin daily. Still another day, three days in a row. It's still dancing around the same way, 200. Are assigned oversold territory usually from oversold territory from a semi 200 support line. It should have bounce, it should have bounce at least to get back to a semi 20, a semi 10, a semi 20. So far, trend is bad. Four hours time frame, it did nice bounce, even it did bullish crossover over 20, and now it came back. Get bearish crossover and last bar below 20. Still bearish trend as of now minus five and a half percent. One hour time frame, same last bar below all moving averages. RSI was an oversold territory, still bearish territory, still bearish trend. And uh, still bearish trend, right? Okay, uh, let's do summary. Let's do summary. XRP, only one powerful bullish crypto in my watch list. Everything else, still same, still in bearish trend. In oversold territory, definitely we should expect some bounce, but still trend is bearish. That's all for today. Let's move to my disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor. This video for ed educational and informational purposes only. Remember, for educational purpose, we are using Paper Trading Simulator. Thank you for watching Simple Trading Style videos. I do publish daily, weekly, monthly updates for stocks, ETFs, indexes, and cryptos. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Click like button to support this channel. I really appreciate all your efforts. Thank you so much and good luck. Bye now.